hi guys Vera princess here again with another video so by now everyone would have more than likely known that tiktok princess samantha fourth jenna passed she's one of the latest known victim of body enhancements in the dominican republic her mother went live to clear the air on some of the public's out of this world allegations so when I heard of um, Samantha's death, I went on her page and I viewed her content and pictures. She was such a beautiful soul. Samantha needed nothing done to herself. Even the doctor who worked on her told her mother that he told her, Samantha, that Samantha, you look good. You don't need anything, any announcement done on your body. However, may her soul, may her beautiful soul find rest. But guys, take a listen and share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. And as per usual, remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Friday night, I was lying right here when my daughter sent me a message. I'm not doing nothing. I don't ready to sleep yet. And then the phone light up. And when I look, I see it was her. And I said in my head, I don't want to talk to Samantha right now. And I turn the phone on the fucking face and turn my head like this. Turn my head the other way and put the phone behind me. And I didn't even know it was the last time I would get a chance to talk to my daughter. The last time. If I did know that that was the last call, I would take it and I ignore it. And, and what even hurt me more yesterday about 12 o'clock when I played a video that she sent me. The song in the video, it says, where are you going? Why are you leaving so soon? And I'm like, why she chose this song is like she could feel something because that's what the song was saying. And I didn't even listen it because if I just touch my finger and listen, I would send her a message and say, it sound good or you look nice or something and she gonna reply back to me with a vice note and I didn't know that I ignore it and if it was a man that called my phone 959 I would fucking answer it if it was somebody else send me that message I would answer it but because of my dad I'm like Samantha don't want nothing she's good just like that and I didn't even get a chance she didn't she didn't even get a chance to even call me to say my mother may not feel good in her not like that she not get that chance me never know say samantha not there jamaica I, in a, the evening when me see her upon the plane me call me next daughter i said to my daughter say abba ama samantha go back already and she just come and charlene said no a dominican republic samantha go and she go over there and see them kill her over there and the next thing that I don't understand, I'm looking for her page on TikTok and I, the, the page is gone. Our page is gone. And I don't know what happened. The page is gone off TikTok. She have two phones in the Dominican Republic. So I'm like, so who would I take down our page? Who would I take down our page? I called the doctor and I asked him, say, where is her belongings? He said to me, the belongings is, is in the recovery house and she have some money in her pocketbook. Everything is safe. So after the autopsy, they will just ship everything to Jamaica. She have a high phone, somebody there using the phone, but how they would get in the phone because the phone have a code lock on the phone. So I'm wondering like, how would they get to use the phone then to, to take down the page? I call her daughter. She says she don't know nothing about that. She just see people saying like TikTok take down the page. TikTok not gonna just take down your page unless you violate something. A, a dead person can violate TikTok for TikTok to take down their page. She not doing no different video but talking video. So there's no violation right there. And I try so many times I put in Samantha Fort Jenna and it's just all different type of people popping up but she's not popping up. If they told me what they said, it's a heart. He sent me a text. Say it's a heart attack. He said it's a heart attack. Say she had blood clad go to her heart, and that's what killed her. That's what he says. He sent me a couple of texts. He said he tries best. 
he don't know what happened because she was the first one who go get massage go get breakfast and when she go to the bathroom that's where she fell in the bathroom and right there that's it nothing more he said samantha look good i even tell samantha samantha you don't need nothing you're fine he said i only spend 40 minutes that's what he said he said i only spend 40 minutes with samantha 40 minutes everything was fine i don't know what happened i can't tell you so we have to wait on the autopsy but she just she wasn't breathing and they bring her to the high cu and he said she had an heart attack even my daughter daughter she said friday night when she was on the video call with her mom she said oh your face looks so black like our body was poison or something and she said to my my granddaughter i forgot my cream to rub on my face i think her body was poison no blood wasn't circulating somewhere or whatever i don't know that's i'm not a doctor i don't even know i don't want to even say it, but i don't know i don't know yeah she she do surgery from i think it was tuesday so after surgery everything she was fine and everything so even some people is saying oh she died doing she never died doing no surgery or nothing like that because the surgery is from tuesday and she died yesterday and the funny thing in her life is so fucking funny because i remember when i when i was pregnant and then when my mom find out that I was pregnant and she bring me to the doctor to do an abortion and the doctor say five hundred dollars to do the abortion and I went with my mom to the bank and when I was sitting down waiting for my mom to draw the money I said to myself all my friend is pregnant and having baby so I want a baby too and I just walk out the bank and said to her I'm gonna go pee pee and I never see back my mom until six months time I come back in Spanish town because I went to one of my aunt. And when I come back to Spanish town, I said, I'm going to go look for my mom. And when I go down there, they say, my mom don't live there no more. She gone to England. And when my daughter was 15 months, that's when my mom come back to Jamaica. And when she sees Samantha, she have her all over the place showing people this is my granddaughter this is my granddaughter that's why i always tell people i don't believe in abortion i'm like you see you were the one who want me to abort her and now you're showing her off showing people this is my granddaughter this is my granddaughter and then it just happened